from Americana to Zydeco, and everything in between. This is the Extended Play Sessions. deeper I get into what I'm doing, the more I feel like I can't separate myself from the music. In the beginning, I felt like I was trying to be a musician, and, and now I feel like I am an artist, and it's, it's, it goes beyond the music. It goes beyond uh, just playing guitar and singing songs. Now I feel like I'm deconstructing the world and uh, trying to understand it in an artistic way, and uh, I feel like I'm I've achieved that point where I feel like what I wanted to be when I was 18 and 20 and 21 when I was just starting to play. And now I feel like I'm that guy. And um, so I want to go back in my head and thank the 18-year-old who had the, the balls to pick up the guitar in the beginning and, and start doing this. And, uh, and that's 500 songs ago, you know. So it's, it's, it's great. I'm, I'm, I'm loving it more than ever. Let's shoot out the satellites You're throwing wishes at the twilight Are oh, you arranging, blazing, occasionally raising A bottle to the night You said every tree that could cross our lips Lies just beyond our fingertips I caught some Summer let slip fly through my fingers time But we pulled the last track Time was an open road And you can't look back You're chasing beauty in the moonlight, are you all right? I'm alive and wide awake. The highway rises, turns and falls like an Oklahoma waterfall. Come jump in. The water was cool and your words held promises of love. was an open road and he can't look back you're chasing beauty like a box kite you will never be held down by a ghost town watching this world spin circles in the night you set a woman in motion 
stays in motion, can't be stopped by mountain, man, or ocean. Tell me, is your world so fast that you can't stand? Still at a crossroads time, we pulled the last trail. Time was an open road, and you can't. It seems to me that uh, songwriters overall tend to be sort of tortured souls in, in, in some way. They, 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 they have some weird kind of burning ember inside of them that forces them to use art as a way of coping with the planet and the universe and, and their parents <laughs> and their friends and their wives and their kids. And so, yeah, I, ha I have to write because it's uh, the choice would be, you know, probably lots of therapy and lots of Prozac and uh, it's it to me it, I t even today you know I, I recorded a song today early in the afternoon and I feel great I'm kind of high from it actually and 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 that's the that's the thing that it does it's an endorphin thing that happens when you're creating because it's sort of like it's a godlike thing um, not that I feel like I'm a god, but I'm creating a three-dimensional world with people that live inside of it, and I'm creating this little universe. Every song is like a three-minute universe, and, and as a listener, you're supposed to be looking into this this uh, snow globe world. You know, you're witnessing all these things that are going on there, and you see your own life inside it. If it's a good song, you see, you know, your 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 wife or your husband or your your kids or your, a relationship you had once, and and you watch it transform and. Um, it's very, very empowering, and uh, it keeps me sane. Stealing girders, they laid my cornerstone at 29. Prison Hoover threw a switch and the sky was mine. Crowds were lining up Fifth Avenue. Mr. Dupont in his top hat smile. Cameras keep flashing, Wall Street's crashing, but the Empire State's come rising. On the tower of Baba, you want stories, man. I've got staff. I rose up from the cradle, the crack of a hammer, the stutter of a chair. I prayed on Black Sunday for a ticker to me. I'm an American story. That's how the Empire State was made. Mohawks on eye beams There's only sky on the hundredth floor That's science and blue jeans Irishmen who came here for more Swinging hammers at halfway jazz It's better than the old bread line These night shift gypsies See the lights of Poughkeepsie Through the clouds where the steel beam shines. I'm the tower of Belva. You want stories? I've got stairs. I rose up from the cradle through the gorilla off of my bed. I cried that September Tuesday when the towers came crumbling down. As long as I'm standing, I am the guardian of New York town. From the 
haven't wanted The world is nothing but a cipher I'm the tower of Babel You want stories where I've got stabbed I rose up from the gravel With a crack of a hammer The stutter of a chair Standing strong today I was forged in steel The king of the newsreel That's how the Empire State Is gonna stay I'm a big fan of that song, City of New Orleans, is by Steve Goodman. And he wrote the chorus from the train's perspective. Uh, Arlo Guthrie had a hit with it. And I always wanted to write a song. I've done a couple songs from the perspective of something that wasn't human. But, um, but I wanted it to be historical and important to us culturally, like, like the train was in his song. So, and, and the Empire State Building hit me one day when I was driving by it. And, uh, and then doing all the research on it was great. And, to me, it's almost like a grown-up kid's song. You know, it's, it's informational, and it's kind of funny because the building's talking, and, uh, you know, it's, and it's what a history that building has. You know, we can learn a lot about us by just looking at that one thing that we did. You know, it was built by the richest people in the country, and then, but physically built by the poorest immigrants you can imagine. And, and on every floor, there was a different language being spoken because there are immigrants from all over different places. There are Mohawk Indians from Canada, riveting, and then Russian immigrants, welding, and Frenchmen, and Scots, and Irishmen, and, uh, you know, and they're all flying around on I-beams, you know. People died building that, that building, and uh, there's a lot of history there. <laughs> Now Johnny Castleman in black was at the Grand Old Opry Drunk on ambition, whiskey and coffee Was dancing with demons, nothing could stop him tonight Tonight, but it felt like a church He said a little prayer, ran out of the stage Taking two and three stairs He could heck hello Johnny, but he wouldn't care Cause tonight He's gonna kick out the lights, kick out the lights. Johnny Cash, Johnny Cash, Johnny Cash. Kick out the lights, Johnny Cash, Johnny Cash, Johnny Cash. Kick out the lights, Johnny Cash, Johnny Cash, Johnny Cash. Kick out the lights, Johnny Cash, Johnny Cash, Johnny Cash. Now you can play a big theater to chandeliers and pearls. Range inside a stadium, the rules are pretty girls. Take your fancy jet tour around. If you like, it's all right. Or you can play folks in prison to the robbers, the crooks, to 300 killers giving back dirty looks. If there's a prison right, gonna get a look. So tonight, you better kick out the lights, kick out the lights, Johnny Cash, Johnny Cash, Johnny Cash. Kick out the lights, Johnny, tell the last notes gone. Rage, oh, rage on, John. 
on Johnny Cadillac snows Go and sing your little love song by lying Leaving your mama's good cooking How you can't break even Your pickup truck Or how your girlfriend's cheating It's alright If you like Or you can sing a ring of fire And how God cuts you down About cocaine freight trains Sunday morning coming down I shot a man in Reno To paint the town Well damn right You'd be kicking out the lights, kick out the lights, Johnny Cash, Johnny Cash, Johnny Cash, kick out the lights, Johnny Cash, Johnny Cash, Johnny Cash, kick out the lights, Johnny Cash, Johnny Cash, Johnny Cash, kick out the lights, Johnny Cash, Johnny Cash, Johnny Cash, kick out the lights, Johnny Cash, Johnny Cash, Johnny Cash, but Johnny Cash, Johnny Cash, Johnny Cash, but Johnny. I'm a huge Johnny Cash uh, fan, and uh, I, sometimes I just sit at home. You might want to do this uh, at home tonight when you get back. Just go to YouTube and put in the Johnny Cash show, and uh, it'll come up, and it'll be the 1970 version of Johnny Cash, and it'll be sitting next to Dylan singing a song, or Neil Young, or Joni Mitchell, or all a number of country stars. And his attitude, I felt like he was, uh, I mean, it was, it's so different than contemporary country music, um, which is really kind of pop music and written for commercial success, not always written to, uh, you know, to, to change things or to confront things, and he would be willing to do that. He wrote about addiction. He wrote about doubting God, God doubting him. He, you know, he wrote about prison. He wrote about killing people. He wrote about crime, and he also wrote beautiful love songs. He wrote children's songs. You know, he was just reflecting life as he saw it and he and he was kind of fighting for the the people that are you know hurting and uh so that that kind of mentality just deserves attention even though he's gone especially now that country music has shifted into this thing that's so not that and uh so I thought it would just be cool to write the song, and uh, it's become a really big hit at shows, and everyone engages in the song, which is great. Thank you for that, by the way. And um, and it came out great on the record. It really, really is kicking on the record. I can't wait for people to hear it. I had grass stains, not scar. Eight years old in my backyard. A box of army men on a blue sky afternoon. Out of the pine trees and sap, plastic soldiers would tear. In my imaginary war, I led platoons. Come home, soldier. Dinner's getting colder. It's time to put your toys away. Marching orders, backyard borders. You will live to fight another day. At an army base in Calvary, I was 19, kicking up gravel in a Humvee when a flash burst through the floor. The 
the RPG and the metal scrape And the shrapnel tore through my legs Now living in this body There is a prisoner of war Come home, soldier Dinner's getting cooler It's time to put your toys Box of soldiers in the attic. G.I. Joes with automatics. Toys I saved to pass down to my own. My little boy runs through the backyard. He's got grass stains for old scars. My legs are made of steel. Well, you know, I, I got that out of a songwriting session with Seth Glear, who's a Boston area songwriter, yeah. Massachusetts guy. Yeah, he's great. Yeah. And a, a good friend of mine. And he had uh, the snippet of the idea, and he was calling it Tin Soldiers And uh, at the time. And I'd been corresponding with soldiers from Af Afghanistan who were serving over there. They'd write me and uh, talk about my music and how they brought it over there, and they were playing it for, for folks. And I befriended a few of those guys. And... Uh, wrote a song about Pat Tillman and uh, got to talk to the, the people that trained him. And um, so I have this connection with the, the idea of what those guys are going through and their sacrifice because it's crazy, you know. And it's, it's one thing to serve, then it's another thing to serve and be injured or serve and die. And so um, it's a heavy subject, but I felt like there was the core of a good song there with, with with Seth and I, you know, whenever I go into a session, both artists, if, or if there are two or three people, we all kind of unload our pockets and all of us come in with four, four or five ideas and then we pick the ones that are most suited to what we're feeling in the moment. And that was one of the ones that we, we jumped on. Like your mama, your daddy's little drama, you sing just like a whippoorwill, and you just can't stand still. You hold me, score me, you give 
the trouble, but the trouble ain't bad. You changed me, you bled me with the best love I've ever had. But the trouble ain't bad You changed me Can you believe me? You're the best love I've ever had I'm writing so much, you know, and, and now I'm writing, I write songs for kids. I write uh, Christmas songs. I write songs for movies. I write songs for other artists. So I'm, um, I'm not stuck. You know, that's the, one of the great things about what I do is that I'm not stuck in having to write the same kind of material. In, in fact, if I did, I'd be really bored, you know. James Taylor wrote Fire and Rain, and it seems like he has to stay in James Taylorville every time he picks up the guitar, and I, I've even read articles where it's really confining for him at times because he has to fit into the box that he created for himself. And I don't need to do that because, one, I don't have any hits, you know. <laughs> <laughs> That's the only benefit of not having a hit is you don't have to be trapped by it. And, uh, and so I get to explore, and, um, I mean, Wasted feels like almost... Um, it's definitely social commentary on drinking and why people drink, but it's also got humor in it, and uh, and and it's honest, you know. And I think if it's honest, then um, if it's honest, I can get away with anything. I mean, it, that's why you know an honest rap song or an honest country song or an honest polka song for for crying out loud, I can get moved by anything if it's honest. And sometimes the craft of it doesn't have to be that great. You know, I'd, I sometimes I'd rather see like a 15-year-old girl singing a song at an open mic than see somebody who's a star who's, you know, 40, who's mastered the craft but has lost some of the innocence of writing and, and, and the joy in the process, you know. And it's that, that vulnerability that exists in people that are just starting out that I love the, the most. Um, and I try and write, you know, I have to remind myself constantly to... to maintain that and uh and it helps that i love it and i love it and i know it's a precious thing so you know it gets that kind of respect from me 